Anyway, tonight we're going on for the Meals on Wheels. Wolfgang Puck and Barbara Lazaroff are coming together for the Wolfgang Puck Foundation for Meals on Wheels. And tonight, there's thousands of people behind us on the back lot Universal Studios. We're Unbelievable a party. Great time. I, I know, I think it's a fantastic party, and now I start to talk like you, see, with my accent. <laughs> And uh, I think we have 2,000 people coming, we have 30 restaurants, we have 80 wineries, and I think it's the only time in your life where you can eat in 30 restaurants in one night and have great food, great wine. Don't forget to bring your driver because you can't yeah. walk home or you can't drive home. And no guilt. We put all the calories on the side. You know, 30 restaurants in one night for the price of one restaurant bill. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think it's fantastic. And what you can think is, that all your money you spend goes to feed the people who have very little or can't get out of their house or very sick or whatever. So I think it's really an important cause. And I think to do something good, to give something back when you have it, I think it's the nicest thing. We're, you, know, you know, we're very lucky to be in this business because we have so much and this is nice. You know, normally we would do an opening at the beginning of this evening, maybe three hours ago. But we've all been eating and a little drinking throughout for the last three hours. And it took three hours to get all three of us together in front of the camera to do the introduction of the show. Now, let's be honest. We've been looking for Wolf for three hours. He's been eating in every single I think restaurant. I think it's a responsibility of the host. Somebody has to, to taste, taste the food. Yeah, it's taste absolutely. Food. Because Make sure it's up to it's par. It's a hard job, but if, somebody has to do if it. If somebody eat. is not right, somebody doesn't cook the right thing, and they are not invited next year. Kick him out. Now, you know, I want to tell you, this has been a three-way partnership. Tonight, he's been tasting all the food. She's been taking all the pictures. And I've been tasting all the wineries to make sure they're... Me too. Uh -oh. I, I have some fantastic Riesling from Austria. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's great. From Austria. By the way, the press has come from Austria also. Yeah, absolutely. You know, so we have press that's come from halfway around the world for this evening. And as I mentioned, we had the fabulous, fabulous chefs from the region in Hong Kong. Name the restaurant. I can't pronounce Lai it. Lai Chin Heng, my favorite Chinese yeah. restaurant in the world, in the region in Hong Kong. Right, the region hotels are here. And from uh, Europe, too, we have a hotel from Europe. Yeah, we have the Bristol and, uh, and Imperial Hotel from Vienna. And then right. we have from Taubenkobel, which is a restaurant south of Vienna. Right. And then um, we have Gera. And then we have also Europe. Werther, who is in Salzburg, so we have some fantastic chefs from Austria. And we were just in Austria, and we had a delicious time. And naturally, we had also all the chefs from uh, America, from yeah. Paul Prudhomme yeah. to Alice Waters to Jonathan Waxman, Joachim Splikal, Novo Matsuhisa, Jimmy Schmidt, Mark Miller. You count it, whoever has a name here, it's here. He was afraid his accent would be interfering him being interviewed. No. He got <laughs> He's, you know what? He got me to marry him with that accent. So you know, I understood you what told he me meant. I'm the best when I talk. Class. <laughs> you know, I want to tell you something. This is a great event, obviously. And we talked a little bit earlier about what really Meals on Wheels is about. Really about taking uh, taking meals to people who cannot get out. Yeah. And you know, it's so great that you can talk all these purveyors and all these restaurants to come for something that really isn't their yeah. clientele. You know, it's not like they're catering to the clientele. Do they? No, no, no. They're doing this out of the generosity of their hearts. Absolutely. You know, to come out and to do something like this, and, to, and not just for one area, but all the way from downtown Los Angeles all the way to Malibu. It yeah. says a lot about the character of the people in this right. town. As we talked about once, it's interesting. People, celebrities, people in certain businesses, they have big hearts. I don't think there's a town oh, like Los I smell, Angeles. I smell something is burning down there. Uh -oh. <laughs> I think I'm something have to he go needs back to eat cooking. it. He wants to go back and eat it. Yeah, no, no I, I have to go turn it over. Yeah, we're not me. letting him go. I'm holding no, no, him on the no. back. I'm burning. That's what it is. It's you know, tonight, normally it's country western night, and we're dressed up in the boots and the whole routine. But as Moroccan music, Arabic music's flying, Indians are coming out. Yeah. This is an event behind even us. Even people in white, the innocence. <laughs> Where's enough of those little white guys running around? He said, the innocence. He's a, he thinks he's kidding us. Okay. I understand. Well, listen, we know he's dying to get back to the tables. And it took us a while, it took us three hours to get him up here, and just we can't keep him here too long. No. But well, I want you to enjoy my, this evening. My good part is not the talking. I'm good in the kitchen or in the bedroom, in the but bedroom. talking, now, forget it. I, I got <laughs> a kiss from Mike. Michael. Uh, now I got one from Wolfgang. You too. saw it right here. All right, guys, we're going back down the party. Okay, it's going to be one heck of an evening. We're going to have a More great time. Wine wine. <laughs> and we'll see you all next year. You got it. Bye. Bye.
Well, I'm here with a very familiar face in uh, Southern California television, Meredith Lecrae. And you know, there must be 5,000 people back of you. There are so many people here, and I don't know how it's going to be tomorrow or next week, but it is so hot here. I think it was like 90 <laughs> degrees. My husband just told me, your hair looks terrible. So here I am on television. What can I say? No lipstick. I've been eating lamb chops and everything else, but oh well. well that's the way it you got caught me, Mike. Right here on the town with her. Now, you know, we're here for Meals on Wheels. Right. But uh, I've seen you an awful lot lately down on uh, Channel 50, Orange County, KOCE, the public station down there, PBS. Every time they have a drive, they've got you on there. Right. I do a lot of things for public television and mm -hmm. for KOCE. I do all their pledge drives, and I also have done a lot of their health care specials for right. women on breast cancer and women's most significant medical problems. I just did a special for them last week on mm -hmm. Disneyland um, yeah. and all sorts of young musical talent that we were showcasing. It's great. It's a great station. I love Orange County. I do a lot of shopping down there. Right. I have a lot of friends down there. And I do a lot of other things that aren't in Orange County, too. I have uh, quite a few books on tape out now that I've recorded. Mm -hmm. I have a, a best-selling videotape on a beauty, sort of, it's right. called the 15-minute acupressure <laughs> facelift. I want you to see this. No makeup. I know. <laughs> They'll probably fire me after this. Well, you know, it's kind of interesting. The last time we were here with Wolfgang Puck, uh, we were here for the American Cancer Society. And uh, we had Julia Child on for a 30-minute special. And uh, she survived breast cancer, and she talked about it. And really, it was a great special, because we talked about food half the night. But she really talked about early prevention in breast cancer with women. Right. And uh, it touched a lot of people, because they saw a very human side of uh, Julia Child, rather than just a character they see on the cooking show. And a very intelligent lady, very down to earth. And uh, it was kind of nice to now to see, in this situation, uh, back with Wolfgang again, uh, for something for American Cancer Society and now for Meals on Wheels. You know, Wolfgang and Barbara are wonderful. They're friends of mine, and they do this every year, and I come every year, mm -hmm. eat and drink, and have a great time, and we pay our money for this wonderful cause. But they are great people. They're very successful people. They're very wealthy people. They don't need to give back, but they do. Right. And I think it's very important, and I love to give back, too. I uh, am the fundraising chairperson for the National Council on Alcoholism and work for the Children's Burn Foundation and a lot of other worthy causes, so it's great. One thing I have to know, though, I hope I don't have lamb chops in my teeth, Mark. <laughs> well, what we've done is we've been lucky enough because now with you, you have a little honor we haven't told you tonight. Uh -oh. the, a pie in my face. In a pie in her face. Yep. Uh, for the ninth month now that we've been on, uh, on the town where we show a different charity every week, you are our 200th star to appear on our show. Oh, great. And uh, that's a great way to start this show with our 200th star. And you know, when we do these charities and we meet, take you to all these great fundraisers, we meet some of the nicest people. And you, although you see a lot of celebrities, you really get to see them really in a different light, not so much in front of the camera doing a show, but what they're really doing in their private lives. And we were lucky enough, we pulled her off the table in the middle yes. of her dinner. I have my husband's wine right here. He's he, waiting for me. He was going, she was getting a couple of glasses of wine and we grabbed her. I promised her five minutes. So guys, our five minutes are up, but Meredith, thank you very much. Thank you for joining us. And on behalf of the Wolfgang Puck Foundation, thank you for oh, being thank here. Thank you very much. And listen, watch KOCE, Channel 50. That's right. And also, this part that's, uh, I want to say a big hi to Chuck Valona. Good. <laughs> on the town with Mike Vera. Hi, Chuck. Well, in this group of 5,000 people, can you imagine this face that I found there? <laughs> His mother. <laughs> and the worst part is I'm bringing her up here, and we're talking about Carousel and a number of different plays and radio shows and PBS specials that she's talking to. And as I'm bringing her through here to get her up to the camera, someone yells out, Mrs. Brady. Well, of course. I mean, uh, Carol Brady will live on forever and ever and ever, and I'm proud of that. You know, I'd say I... There are certain handles on people in show business, and it's so funny. People keep that no matter what it is. I mean, you know? Well, there, if you're lucky, I think there's one thing in, in your career that people will always latch on to. That mm -hmm. That's what made them happy. That's what made them feel good. You can do a million other things before, a million things after. Right. But that is the one thing. You know, it's like Jimmy Stewart. It's a wonderful life. That's true. Uh, they're just, those things happen. You know, I think that the real truth is if they do. You, Mike, I think will be your shirts. <laughs> I want uh, this shirt. You know, every year I sing at the Indy 500. Mm -hmm. I sing our national anthem and I participate in all the events. And I think this shirt would be fabulous. I would love event. to give you this shirt if I can stay in it when I go with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, you know, it's funny. I, I think, first of all, before we move on to something else, if they didn't love it, they wouldn't remember you for it. Oh, and that's something people love. 
Well, you know, the Brady Bunch is, is still, after 25 years, it's in 130 countries around mm -hmm. the world, and it's never been off television in this right. country. So I'm proud of that. How, how about the remake? I mean, wasn't that hysterical? It was fun. Uh, they made two movies. I was in right. the first movie, and it made a lot of money. We weren't in the second movie. It yeah. didn't make so much money. Well, that's because they didn't have Grandma coming back and making <laughs> right, an appearance. Right. You see, I saw the first movie. I didn't see the second. Right. That's why. Exactly. But I really will ask you, know, I know that uh, your agent, uh, his wife is very involved here. Yes, and, Pam Corman. And, does, uh, yeah. Uh, and she's very responsible. I know Pam Corman's the one who invited us here through Barbara and Wolfgang, so we worked with her in the past. Uh, all these people trying to organize something this big. Oh, I mean, I don't know if your audience can even assess the thousands of people that are out here enjoying this event and how they bring it off. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But uh, I've been to so many tables. I mean, I've eaten so much. Uh, it's, it's really a wonderful event, and the fact that it's for such a great charity as Meals on Wheels, right. um, I'm so thrilled to be a part of it. Now, I know our television audience who recognizes you from the past, but really, let's talk to them, with them now about what you have coming up in the forward, because you've got a new radio show you're doing now. I do a radio show here in L.A. and also uh, outlying districts. Right. Uh, it's growing rapidly. It's called All Show tunes all the time on KGIL 1260 AM. I'm on from 7 to 10 p.m. every night, Monday through Friday, and on Saturday from 7 to oh, okay. 9. We also That's have okay. Stephanie Edwards. We have okay. Gary Owens. And it's growing. And, you know, there's a great audience out there for for Broadway, for great movie music, right. and that's what we're bringing them. And I just uh, was in New York last week, and I did the uh, the milk, the milk mustache <laughs> ad with Annie Leibovitz. I can see that. You know. Uh, what I mean? Okay. But so much fun. Shirley Jones and Marion Ross, we right. the '70s mom, and, and we all had our, our wigs. I had the flip do, and Marion Ross had the French twist, and right. Shirley Jones had the little, you know, funny little hairdo from the Partridge Family. Sure. So it was great fun. You know, Marion Ross has got a lot of critical acclaim lately. Oh, uh, she was nominated for an award last year. Absolutely, for yeah. the Academy Award. She's yeah. a very talented actress, and uh, you know, we're old war horses. She always says to me, Florence, do you realize we are American? And icons, and I go, Marion. I don't know about that. I just, I just love the work, and I just did a. You mentioned PBS. I right. hosted the uh, July 4th, the Capitol 4th. They do a, a oh, wonderful yeah. show every year live from our nation's capital, and I just did a pilot for them down in Nashville. Oh, great! Which is very apropos of this event. It's called Shortcuts to Cooking. Oh. Another cook. No, we should maybe next year with one of the celebrity chefs, we'll have her behind one of the tables doing All right. one of the deal. Absolutely. I, you know, let me tell you something. I am simply amazed because we've had a lot of chefs on lately. Uh, Julia Child was on oh. last month, and uh, we had a lot of fun with Julia Child. Of course, Barbara Lazaroff was on the show, and we've had, by the way, Shirley Jones and Gary Owens have all been on the last oh, couple of wonderful. weeks. Gary's a great guy. Isn't great he guy. very knowledgeable? And I love his voice. I mean, it's like one oh. of those great announcer voices. He, he, He's been around forever, but what I what I really love is we've been doing some of these events with cooking and the chefs. And uh, once you, before we used to talk about. I love you too. Thank you. Sorry, <laughs> one of my fans are waving. Thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no matter where she goes, can you believe it's in the middle of her shot? Get out of her shot! <laughs> <laughs> but all these, we were talking to her, and know it's really kind of interesting now. In the old days, a chef was an artisan, but now he's an artist. Yes. And chefs are becoming celebrities. Oh, I think, you know, uh, my, my young daughter-in-law to be, uh, she's a medical student at mm -hmm. the University of Missouri. Her favorite programs, and this blew me away, are the cooking shows. Right. She must watch the Food Network. Oh, she Emma loves... Lagoski and all these guys. She loves the Food Network and a lot of young people. That's why I think the pilot that I did is so timely because so many of the young people out there mm -hmm. today, they're working mothers. They're, right. you know, they're holding down jobs, careers, and yet trying to run a home and, and do it with nutrition and, and you know, come up with great ideas. So that's kind of the idea behind our show is to give them uh, ways that they can do it quickly now, how do you find time? You're doing a you're doing a radio show five nights a week. Yes. You also, from time to time, are touring, and I know that for a yes. fact. Yes, I sing all the time. Sing everywhere. all the time. You're doing shows all the time, and then you turn around, and now you're talking about doing a cooking show. Well, you know, Mike, I did a cooking show on the Nashville Network for nine years called Florence Henderson's Country Kitchen, and we had so many great stars. It was all. Um, 
essentially live. We, we, cook, we had Willie Nelson make country gravy, <laughs> turned to concrete before our very eyes. Wolfgang, you could help Willie Nelson. But we had Willie Nelson, Garth Brooks came on, mm -hmm. Vince Gill, and we would sing, we would cook, and we would talk. I think there's something about uh, food and cooking that right. is so personal and so intimate that it reveals a lot about people. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like welcoming you into their home. Yes. And I think it's great on television because you really start to identify with the person behind the two. Absolutely. And you begin to uh, to know how they feel about about food, about the people they love. Right. I did a, a show a few years ago. You mentioned Julia Childs at right. the Ritz Carlton in Marina Del Rey. Uh -huh. They honored Julia Childs and all the great chefs from all over the world flew in for this. Mm -hmm. And each one cooked a different course. And I sang Thank Heaven for Julia Childs <laughs> with my little uh, French hat on. And it was a great evening. She is so charming. So well, you know, I never really pictured her playing in Gigi. But the sound, <laughs> with the sound of music, I saw you on tour. Oh, bless and, your heart. And I remember that so well, Absolutely. I'll tell you. And even though everyone remembers you, I guess, from, from the television days, the Brady Bunch, I will never forget you in The Sound of Music. You. you were great. Thank you. Was well, for the uh, rest of the group that's here, I thought there was 5,000, last count, 6,500 people out there. Wow. And uh, you saw her here at Florence Henderson on On the Town with Mike Farah. Thank Thanks you, Mike. Thanks a lot Mike. for doing Thank us a lot you. of help. Thank you. Oh, I loved it. All right. I just need a quick You know, I was going through the crowd looking at some of the celebrity chefs, and when we talk about celebrity,